This is Pamper Chew, and today I clamp my foot in a George Foreman grill. No, that's not what's happening. Uh, but actually, I did want to see what it would cost to cook a steak at home. It's using about 710 watts, and I'm going to put it on the kilowatt hour measurement, so we'll see um, the total price at the end of the uh, cooking session. Where's the steak? Here's the steak, here's the mushrooms. And we got it for $10 at Winco. Um, here in Beaverton, we pay 14.5 cents per kilowatt hour. So, uh, I don't know, maybe I, I'm thinking it's gonna cost about 10 cents to cook the meat, but we'll see. I also got an onion and a garlic. And my favorite, the A1 sauce. I like to cook my steaks well done with garlic and, and mostly with the onion and mushrooms. So here we go. I'm going to cut this piece right here and get rid of the fat because I just like a burnt piece of meat. So far, heating up the grill, it's used 0 0.03 kilowatt hours. Thank you. You, don't, you can just cut it across. I don't need it all fancy. It's just doing it right. It's right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I want to leave the uh, fat for someone for someone else to eat too. Some people like that. Okay, so so far we've used not much. Let's look at the wattage, and it is at zero watts. Did I blow the thing already, or is it just? Yeah, no, open. Oh, it's up to temperature. Okay. It's not on. Yeah, it must be up to temperature. Go ahead and put. Hot? Yeah, it's hot. Okay, we'll pay attention to the. Where are we I, cooking the steak now? I'm hungry. And we can slice up the uh, onions too. You gotta do the onions. I'll do the onion. Okay. We're rolling. So, we're gonna start with the onion. Okay. I'll show how fast I can peel an onion. Alright, get the, the other part. We need to peel off the outside layer. That goes into there. And do you, what shape would you like it in? What shape? have way so much onion. <laughs> now, for those of you who don't know, you can eat this raw and it's really good with a bit of salt. So if you never tried this, you put on the salt, just like that. Throw some over your shoulder. Mm. Mm. And after uh, you eat this, people just don't want to kiss you. Mmm. Okay. Go over here. It should be still be functional. Is the piece that uh, Snaggy cut for me? And it's gonna be his piece. You know, so as soon as it got cold, the power was back up. Too much salt. <laughs> okay, cut the, cut the tape. So we're gonna put this away for tomorrow. Put some onions on the grill. I like to squish all the juices out and make it dry. And then the mushrooms I will add in a second. And all this onion will wrap up for tomorrow. I'll have that for breakfast or something. This is our kitchen. 
We did just get a new refrigerator. It's the monstrosity, but we got it for 70% uh, off. So it was a good deal. I think we got it for uh, $925. $925 from Restoration Restore. And it's one of those really fancy ones with the uh, makes ice cubes and stuff. I think I can just uh, hit a button and ice cubes fall out. You can just throw them at whoever. <laughs> this is the view from the waiting area. And here's the, the lab where I have all my electronic stuff, I do all my research. Back here I do uh, soldering. This is where I work on things that just came in, the new stuff. And power supply and NTSC stuff and scope. I'm still running the Bitcoin miners and they will be ran for this winter and we'll see what happens next year. If Bitcoin keeps going up, these are still the top ones you can get so um, if power wasn't so expensive I would still I would have ran them all summer but since it's 14 cents per kilowatt hour, it's it wouldn't be uh, profitable during the summertime since we'd have to cool the house. But for winter time, they heat the house and it's profitable. Here's the uh, giant chipmunk. And here's my wooden fish. You gotta feed the fish. Oh, eat, eat, eat the fish pellets. Fun place to be. Oh hi. Oh hi. Would you like a steak? Uh, yeah. Or okay. There's always yes to that question. Yeah, we can get you a steak. So we're making his uh, rare. Was it? Yeah. Okay. I just threw it on top, like that. And so far we've only used um, 150 watt hours, so 0.15 kilowatt hours, and that would cost about two cents, two or three cents. Um, for I think by the time we're done it'll be three cents. So that gives me a better perspective on the electric cost for cooking. I've always had a argument where uh, I said, oh, you gotta, you gotta cook it at home. I mean, that costs money too, but really it's not much at all. So, how was your day? Right. Make something up. <laughs> oh, I, I hit a mailbox. Oh. Oops. Was there any mail in it? I don't know. Throw away the <laughs> <laughs> Hit and run. <laughs> Find out. Like nominal. Say it again. It's like 40 bucks a month if you don't keep it cool. Unless you're like oh, I was just doing an experiment to see how much it costs to cook a steak. Probably 
probably a lot less than it did the five mistakes. I would hope so. Yeah. <laughs> well, so far we've used uh, 170 watt hours. Really? Yeah. And so at 14.5 cents per kilowatt hour, it's just now creeping up to 1.4 cents, 1.5 cents. Oh, no. Yeah. But I had to do the experiment, and I needed to document it. Probably cost more to start your car. Yeah. Well, yeah, for a second, a fuel. <laughs> if you're driving a dog, yeah. I don't even think it matters. Even if you had an electric car, it would still cost more to start your car. 1979 dog. <laughs> So is this how you like it? Is it is it done enough for you? That one there? Ooh. The one on top? Yeah, it looks good. Cool. Okay, I'll pull that off. Would you like mushrooms? Yeah, I like mushrooms. Okay, I'll throw a couple of mushrooms on. Like A1 sauce. <laughs> Do you want mushrooms? Yes, please. Okay. Please. Don't worry, I'll wash my hands before soldering. I wasn't soldering. So I was talking to Lexi, I guess there was no Ethernet port. Oh. Yeah. Darn. <laughs> So you have a laptop with no Ethernet port? You go first. So no Ethernet port? I've yeah. seen I've seen some Ethernet ports in hotels, but mainly in their data bar. I've seen like a couple. Like most don't, but why is there a data bar? Why is that a thing? And what's the main reason why they don't? Well, because people do like bring their Bitcoin app. You really think that that many people have done it? They host a web server. I remember someone had brought a Bitcoin miner to the Furcon. I don't think hosting a web server would be, for a few days, would be very they can. minimal. If you have a son and you are like a, a main public... If you're an autistic company. nerd. Yeah. So, we can say that it used about 200 watt hours or one fifth of a kilowatt hour. What is one fifth of 14 cents? There you go. 14 divided by 5. No, I was doing the, the hand wave, so it can be like... I thought you were waiting for an answer. This is like, you go like, no, you go... In like a, a, an actual kitchen where you know pretty well what the temperature of the grill is. Mm -hmm. huh. Hence where the machine I'm not allowed to have sharp knives. <laughs> Mickey Mouse says so. So, yes, I ruined the steak by putting it in the sauce uh, and eating it. With a knife. Mm. Delicious. You ever had blue cheese steak? Beautiful, beautiful. Delicious. <laughs>